That mysterious noise left people across southern York County wondering what woke them up early this morning. So what was that noise? From East York to Stewartstown to New Freedom, we received dozens of reports of a loud, slow-moving object in the sky this morning. Box 43's Alyssa Kratz looked into the reports and found out what may have been behind it. This surveillance video sent to Fox 43 by a viewer captured a weird noise heard overnight in Southern York County. I was sleeping. It was um, around 340 or so, and I heard this horrendous sound. When she woke up Tuesday morning. I, it was, I wasn't dreaming it. Barb in Winterstown took to Facebook to see if anyone else heard it too. I wanted to know if anybody else heard that. Usually everyone shares like, did you hear this explosion or vibration or something? And I thought I, there's got to be other people in my area that heard this, that were woken up by it. Based on this thread of comments on a sense deleted post, a lot of people were. People were like, I heard something, you know, I'm in Brogue and I heard something and I'm in Stewartstown and I heard something and Redline and Glen Rock and New Freedom. Described by one person as sounding like a lawnmower in the sky and another as the Goodyear blimp, we did some digging to find out more. We reached out to the York Airport, whose operations manager says there are two possibilities. Online flight trackers show a small military turboprop aircraft like the one seen here depart at Lancaster Airport and was en route to Joint Base Andrews, putting it over Brogue at 3.46 a.m. and Stewartstown at 3.49. In addition, a Ukrainian AN-12 cargo plane passed through around the same time. It left JFK Airport in New York at 3.03 a.m. and arrived in Texas just after 9.15. And then it was just louder and louder and louder and moving really slow. Now the operations manager tells us the AN-12 is a very loud plane that makes a similar sound to the one heard in that viewer video. He also says it's not uncommon for military aircraft and even the occasional foreign military plane to fly over our part of Pennsylvania. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.